Y'all stop saying that shit. Shout out my high minute, he's that fucking man. If he can't, I don't know, then nobody can. You get the only one putting on with this shit, pulling up to you. What I wanted to get into next. So, you said your family brought you, you know, back out here. When did you come out this time and when did you start making music this time? Like, have you made music in the past? No, hell no. So, not one song, not a video, nothing like that. So, what, when did you start making music out here and and what inspired you to just say, okay, you know, I'm going to just do it? Because there's a difference between, um, having fun and you know as a hobby just freestyle and what have you and actually like okay I'm gonna take this serious I'm gonna do music videos I'm gonna try and make this a business all right so yeah what was that bring what was that light bulb so, here um we came back out here um September of 2019 we was in Ohio from 2016 to 2019 fighting a, a lawsuit when I got back out here, like I said, September, so what, October, November, my my best friend and my uh, my brother, Trail's baby mom's brother, Jeez, which one of my best friends, uh, childhood best friends and shit, he wrote, he got this thing, like, so when I was doing a little freestyle shit, he, um, back in the day, he used to give me assignments. Like, this is just keep me sharp with rhymes and shit, and he did an a assignment and told me to write about something. It was about mopping down the street on um, the south side in Canton. And I did that. And uh, when I did it, I wrote it fast as hell and it surprised me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that shit was quick and it was hard. So uh, I let him hear it and I kept writing more and more. She was at, uh, my old lady had her job and shit, so I'm just finding all the times to write. Mm-hmm. And then I hit homie up again like a couple of weeks later after I had made up a whole bunch of more rhymes and shit. And he like, he like, wait, he played me and shit. He like, um, like, well, how long you gonna do it this time? Well, here's one, I'm gonna hear from you again in March or some shit like that. Like, damn, bro, I took that shit to the heart. Like, yeah, man, he didn't think that I was serious. So that was something that contributed to the fire at first. Um, and then one of my homies that I looked look up to on the music side in Ohio, he played some shit that I had posted on Facebook for another person in Ohio that I look up to. And he like, uh, telling, <laughs> like, telling to hit me when he gets serious. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? What you yeah. mean? I ain't serious like I am, nigga. I wrote that shit down, nigga. I was serious as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I had to, I had to ask some questions to figure out what he meant. And I found out that they saying that you're not serious when you're not putting out your music, when you're not right. putting it on platforms, if you're not promoting it, if you're not trying to do videos, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't on all platforms, they're not taking you serious. Right. So anybody out there that's doing music and shit, if anybody not taking you serious when you're sending them DMs and shit, it's because they're not seeing you connecting with people like My Heart Minute and, and getting out here and getting your shit moving. So, I, know, I, got with my, I got with my cousin. Um, K5, the same one, and I told you, he gave me the early influences and shit, and he told me what he meant, and then he told me how to do it, you feel what I'm saying, this is how I found out about TuneCore, um, I have, no, actually, I found out about TuneCore through Russ, mm-hmm. the famous dude, Russ, Russ, the artist, yeah, he had said something about it, about how to control your royalties and shit, you know what I'm saying, about mm-hmm. getting through DSPs and stop being thirsty to get in touch with labels, because most artists only use labels for distribution, you know what I'm saying, right, so right. if you go through TuneCore, DistroKid, United Masters, and you can pay to get your music on all of these platforms, I'm like, glitch, thank you, Ralph, you feel right. what I'm saying, I'm about to break the shit out of this internet, you feel what I'm saying, like, and he told me that shit, and then I put the videos out, you know, I put... Uh, birth pains out on tune court first. I still was scared though, and uh, I don't know. Something clicked like after we got back from California last year. I went out there for the first time with them for my uh, son's birthday and all ladies first time when I came back. I'm like shit. Maybe I should drop a little project. You know what I'm saying? Like a six song, seven song EP. Just give the streets a little something. You know what I'm saying? So I. Was that the better than mine? Better late than never. Better that's late that's never. why the project is called Better Late Than Never, because why not? Better late than never. Bars! Killing you niggas! Bro. 
<laughs> so what made you have that mindset better late than never? So I got like, it's just a, um, you know, like thoughts just be coming to me on some weird shit, like random, like exact shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I just thought of a title, like, better late than never. If somebody show up to your party and they say like, nigga, I came, but you, are I you, could have been late or I never would have came, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I should have just put this bitch out. So you care about blowing up? What do you mean by like blowing up? Like, do you care about getting famous in the rap industry? I mean, I'm doing it for, you know what I'm saying, like, I guess attention, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want my fuckers to be able to hear me, so. Right. So I don't, I don't know how big I, I, I yeah, I, I want something from the shit. I just don't know what. What are your goals and like plans? Of, just trying to shoot my son some shit. You feel what I'm yeah, like this shit for my son, bro. Like, that's real. Cause if I ain't doing something, then he ain't gonna have nothing to look at or be proud of. You feel what I'm saying? So that's all of this shit is just like planting seeds to let my son. Know. That's why he here. He ain't paying attention, but he's a part of it. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Like, so he gonna know. You feel me? So.